it does not hold any sentimental value to me do i use this palette no am i going to throw away this palette right after this video yes i mean welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys my eyeshadow palette collection if you are interested do keep on watching To be honest with you guys for a person who really loves makeup i don't have much palettes because i always try to differentiate between a want and a need so let's go so first up i have these three multi palettes which i purchased in valerie chagonas i personally asked them to give me about three palettes that every makeup artist should have in their kit and these are the three that they gave me the 35b 35w and the 35p up next we have the city color cooling breeze palette i got this as a gift do i use it as much as i would like to no so i definitely have to start to incorporate this in more of my looks because it is very pigmented i don't really like working with shimmer shades but it's really pigmented so like we have this shade here and this green so it's really pigmented next i have two eyeshadow palettes that is sentimental to me so i only use these on myself and the first palette is this sultry and neutrals 10 piece matte eyeshadow by the brand perfusion this was actually my first palette that i purchased with my own coins and the reason i got this palette is because it reminded me so much of the naked palette not in the colors but like the shape of the palette and how the eyeshadows are placed like these and also this brown shade right here is actually when i started to contour as well so i started this was my first palette and i also started to contour using this palette and up next i have this br makeup kit how many of you have seen like these i got this as a gift and do i use it as much no but the colors are pigmented these are what they look like and this side i've never really used it so if i could just probably give you a swatch of it so it is pretty pigmented next i have this ellie girl nudes palette now i know with this collection there's probably like two or three color variations but i fell in love with this palette with the colors that there is in it and as you can see majority of the matte is used the shimmer on the other hand is just there but i really i really like this palette up next we have bh cosmetics kylie bible gulox edition now i personally remember paying 250 dollars for this palette and i must say this probably is incorporated in most of my makeup looks i absolutely love this palette the shades are ridiculously gorgeous and i love the highlighter well highlighters but i mostly go for this gold highlighter and as you can see i hit pan on this gold shade and this has to be one of my very best gold shades i've ever come across it's so pigmented it doesn't have much fallout or anything like that so i really love this palette question do you guys have a favorite palette comment down below because i don't up next i have two palettes that i received from my boxycharm base box and palette number one is the ace beauty scarlet dust palette i absolutely love that this palette is small and it comes with 12 shades and this also like a huge mirror 
and these shades are really beautiful they are really like pigmented so I really love this palette and then I have the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series palette and just like the first palette I love that it is small this palette has 10 shades and it has a really good size mirror as well and these are the shades in the palette and these are also very very pigmented next I have the Dawn's palette by Juvia's please do not come at me in the comments for pronouncing this name I could never get the correct name for it I got this as a gift and the colors are really pigmented and I love the packaging for all of Juvia's place palette. Next I have this LA Colored Matte Eyeshadow Palette and this has to be one of the cheapest eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. I remember paying $12 for this uh, and the reason I think that I still hold on to this is because I have created a lot of natural looks with this palette. I carry this palette to work uh, to do my makeup when I reach to work and I mean look how small it is you know so I think that is the reason why I still have this palette and lastly I have this Sasha palette which is kind of embarrassing because I can't remember how much years ago I purchased this it does not hold any sentimental value to me do I use this palette no Am I going to throw away this palette right after this video? Yes. I mean, that concludes my eyeshadow palette collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to comment down below if you have a favorite palette and tell me what it is if you do. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be good, keep safe, God bless, bye.